Hey everybody, some of you guys have been uh, trying to figure out from my last video um, how to reset the service wrench, service indicator on your Triumph Tiger. I appreciate all the views. Uh, it seems that Toon ECU uh, has sort of updated their software and now requires you to, to register uh, an email in your motorcycle. So I'm still using the OBD Link uh, dongle here. Uh, it's Bluetooth, you don't leave it plugged in. Uh, you can watch my other video. But uh, I just went through the process of resetting my service indicator because I just got tired of looking at it. And uh, I was hoping to just update you guys on how to get it registered so that uh, it works uh, the way it did in my last video. So you go to the tunecu.net website, okay? And there is a ton of information here. It makes it really hard to read. Uh, but essentially what you need to figure out is how to register your, uh, your email. So go to the tunecu forum. Okay, it should look something like this. And up here at the top, it'll say register, okay? And then you enter your email, um, you know, whatever your email is going to be. Hit continue. Um, it'll ask for things like a password and then a, um, a username, right? And then once you do that, it'll send an email to your phone uh, or to your email and let you know that you're registered. And then, and then you're pretty much done there. And then you can go back to your bike, uh, plug your dongle in, turn your bike on, make sure to set the switch to run. And then the process uh, is basically going to, I'm gonna open the app here, kind of show you guys where to go. So once you get back to this screen, when you first plug in your bike, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll turn this on, set to run. It's gonna connect our, our dongle. And hit the three dots. Sorry. I'm not. And then go to help. This should be your uh, your version. If you click on that, you can actually get to that website I was talking about to register your email right here. And then uh, when you try to connect this thing, it'll it'll ask you to. Um, to register your like this bike so individual users can register up to five bikes and let's see ECU I'm not sure why I'm not getting the I'm not sure why it's not connecting now of course because I'm shooting a video we'll try disconnecting and connecting again Okay, so there's a little light. So now it's it's connecting, connected to OBD Link. Then you can go back in, do test and adjustments, adjustments, reset service uh, interval. You can click run. I choose miles. Now, I'm not sure you can actually pick something higher than 6,000. Um, I tried clicking 10,000, but it seems like 6,000 worked and 10,000 didn't. So I'm not sure if that's a, just a limitation in the ECU or not, but just click 10,000, then click okay. And then you'll get that message that says reset uh, of service interval done. And then you can click okay and you're done. Then you go back here and you'll see the wrench is gone. Okay. Just like the last video, it's just a, it's just a nightmare of trying to get your, your email registered. Um, and once it's registered and you start actually trying to do this, you should have pop-up screens that ask you if you want to, uh, register this motorcycle, like say individual users, uh, that pay for the app, uh, can register or link rather up to five motorcycles. Uh, if you buy the pro version, you can link, I think it's an indefinite number of motorcycles. It's just, it's a free for all at that point, but obviously you're going to pay more for that, that pro subscription. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. Like I say, it's, it, it didn't cost me anything extra 
to do this. It was just a matter of trying to figure out how to register my email. And then when I connect the uh, East Tune ECU app to the motorcycle, make sure to uh, register the bike once, once it pops up. It'll be a pop-up screen. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't video the process when I did it. I will try to do another one on my friend's bike, uh, Calimoto Adventures. If you guys don't follow him, he, does, he puts out a lot of uh, really good material on Instagram. Um, he's able to use this on his Tiger 1200. Uh, pretty old bike too. Uh, I think he's got something like 80,000 miles on it. So he, he's, he's laid down a lot of miles on that bike. It's, it's an older bike. Uh, mine is obviously the <clears throat> 2020 Tiger Rally Pro, the 900, but it does work on his bike. So uh, when I go hook up his bike, I will try to video uh, the process of going through the screens and getting that all hooked up uh, for a second bike uh, to this app. I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of you guys have been hitting me up, uh, uh, especially in that video. Uh, where I reset the service inter interval, which I think is great. People are learning how to work on their bikes. Uh, it, it's ridiculous that you have to go to the, the dealership to turn off a service interval, uh, especially when you do things like oil change. It's really the only thing you've ever really needed to do. Maybe a fork oil change. Everything else is sort of, you know, hands-on. When you're washing your bike, you typically find out what else is wrong. The uh, the service interval interval requirements are pretty pretty ridiculous it's, it's mainly just looking around for things that are broken anybody can do that um, so I know that's a pet peeve of everybody's but hopefully this video has helped you get back on track with my previous video uh, I I'm not like a big youtuber so I will try to maybe put these videos together and then repost it um, or rather just redo a whole video. But I hope this worked for you guys and uh, good luck.